and god is making a way even where there is no way because he is the way maker he is the god almighty and he is making a way for you tonight just believe in the power of his might just believe in the power of the blood just believe in the finished work of the cross mm. that he died on the cross because of you jesus went through a lot to make a way for you mm. he made a way that you can access god direct when he died the curtains were torn mm. into two such that you have the ability to enter into the holy of holies you have the ability to access god by yourself mm. you have the ability to approach god and have a conversation with him mm. and god is making a way in your life tonight if you've never believed it before i encourage you child of god to believe tonight mm. that god is making a way for you that god is making a way for your family mm. that God is making a way at your workplace. God is making a way for you tonight because he is the way maker. Mm. He is the God almighty. He parted the Red Sea for the children of Israel to go through. Mm. You are his child and therefore is there anything that he can't do for you? Mm. Is there any situation that he can't change for you? Is there anything that is too hard for God? He loves you and therefore for he cares about you mm. the only challenge we have is the level of our faith some of us are faithless mm. some of us have no faith whatsoever yet that is the only way that we can access god and the blessings that god has for us mm. I encourage you tonight to up your faith. Lift your faith. Forget about what you're seeing. Mm. Don't be like Peter. Don't concentrate on the circumstances. Don't concentrate on the prevailing circumstances around you. Mm. Why don't you focus your eyes to the king? Mm. Why don't you focus your eyes to the healer? Don't concentrate on your disease. Just look at the healer and just tell him Jesus I surrender this disease before you mm. do what you can do with it because I need to be made whole focus not on your circumstances mm. focus on the one that can change your circumstances focus on the one that can make you great today and lift you from where you are tonight mm. because indeed he has done it before and he can do it again today he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask for or imagine mm. and that same god that delivered the children of israel mm. is here tonight that same God that healed the blind Bartimaeus mm. is here tonight. That same God that turned water into wine is here tonight. That same God that provided food for the prophet Elijah mm. is here tonight. That same God that did miracles before is here tonight. Mm. The question is is the question is are you ready to receive this miracle? Mm. Are you ready to access him today i just want to encourage us mm. not to give up on god Amen. because day by day people are losing patience they want their dreams to be fulfilled you want your desires and your goals to be achieved we are already past the the first quarter is coming is, is actually coming to an end and you had desires in your life the things you had planned and purpose to achieve by the end of this quarter and you're looking at them and wondering whether you will be able to achieve them you're seeing a, a cloud of darkness ahead of you and you're wondering whether will i be able to achieve this whether they're tough problems that you're facing in this life some of us are blaming god for what we're going through some of us are just disappointed in the walk of faith that we are in mm. that you're just meeting turbulences one after the other you know some of us are just jealous of other people's successes and you're questioning god why he's giving others success and yet you're not seeing anything materializing for you mm. some of us have scars of disappointments 
that we have had in the past perhaps your wife betrayed you your husband betrayed you your children have betrayed you or even has betrayed you and now you have a lot of scars in you mm -hmm. and you don't know how to move past the scars that you're experiencing tonight mm -hmm. perhaps your parent did something and wronged you and you have quite a scar in your heart and you're finding it so hard to move past your scar mm -hmm. Some of you, or perhaps you're there and you're even tired of leaving. You want to end your life because things seem not to be working for you. You meet your friends and the people perhaps you are in school with. All of them are doing well. All of them have gone and moved past you know where you are you look at yourself and you feel like you are late in life late in marriage late in success late in getting a job late in all that people call stability and you feel like you're coming to an end but the book of psalm 103 verse 2 is here to encourage you once again tonight the bible says that bless the lord O my soul mm. And forget not all his benefits for you not for, for you not to give up on God you must remember all and not just some of his benefits mm -hmm. for you not to give up on God you have to sit down and count the blessings that God has given you before because man has a tendency of forgetting someone blesses you yesterday today you fall into a situation and you forget that God indeed took you through what you had gone through in the past so bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Sit down and look at the goodness of God. Look at what he has done for you. And why should you not give up on God? Because God is not a man that he should lie. That is the word of God. If he says he will do it, then he will definitely do it for you. Mm. It might delay, but it doesn't mean that he has denied you the blessing. There's a reason why God will delay a blessing your way. Because he knows the end from the beginning. He knows if I give Anunda this jet today, mm -hmm. he will forget me. If I give a so and so a child today, they will not serve me the way they are serving me. Therefore, let them learn the art of service. Let them go through the process. And by the time God is blessed, blessing you perhaps with a child you will have grown into maturity to be able to handle this child and the ministry and purpose that god has given you in his ministry mm. delay is not denial you're questioning the time that you're living in and feeling like things are not working yet because your clock is clicking oh time yangu is clicking who created you have you ever someone have you ever seen someone who's at the age of 45 but they look 25 mm. god is able to turn back the clock for you because he created you don't give up on god because he's not a man to lie if he promised you he will definitely deliver and fulfill that promise for you and god's word is final in not one situation but in all situations Amen. his word is final when he says it he means it when he says it he means it he doesn't mean his word the book of psalms 119 verse 89 says your word lord is eternal mm. it stands firm in the heavens the word of god is eternal if he has said it he will do it so believe in him and his word is in the promises mm. in the word that is his word yeah. so he's saying don't give up don't fear for i am with you he's asking what is so great because i'm the lord god of all flesh is there anything that i can't do 
is there any situation that i can't change his word is final and his faithfulness continues through all generations he established the earth and it endures he created you therefore you child of god you will endure don't give up on god don't give up on god because it is the devil's will not god's will for you to give up because the word says that i have come that you may have life and life in abundance the thief comes but to steal kill and destroy he's gonna destroy your faith in god he's gonna destroy your trust in god he's gonna destroy you holding firm to that which the lord has promised you mm. so don't give the devil a chance yeah. to destroy you your enemy is the devil he was originally designed to defeat you mm. but don't allow him to defeat you don't give up on god trust in him because he is greatly his his interest is for you to prosper his interest is for you to live a good life it is god's interest for you to live large mm. both here and the life after and that is what the disciples we've left all that we have mm. to follow you what is our benefit what is our benefit what did he tell them both here and the life after so let nobody tell you otherwise yeah. trust in god and in the power of his might don't give up on god even though the going gets tough mm. it's important to remember that god is on your side and that he is for you always remember that mm. that he is for you he is for you don't give up don't give up on god mm. because he is not about to give up on you that's my encouragement to you today wow amen 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 thank you for that powerful powerful encouragement right there and wanna leave him aside here yeah. refreshment it's come as rema <laughs> <laughs> very refreshing thank you daniel amen, amen. we thank the lord wow. we thank the lord for that uh assemble queen here saying ain't giving up because he has done so much for me yeah. i can't give up on god because he has done so much for me one of them delay is not denial indeed and ma uh, there's somebody else saying is wow i'm blessed Amen. i will not give up don't give up yes god is for me because i'm his child that is born to shine and indeed you are born to shine we want to pray right here we have a few minutes to pray with you mm -hmm. and of course thank you also for partnering with us as pearl radio it is because of you that we are doing what we are doing here yes. in this ministry it is a vineyard that god has given us as pearl radio mm -hmm. to extend the kingdom of god even in these last days we are not giving up yeah. We are not giving up as a ministry. Uh, the, mm -hmm. the turbulences in the media industry right now, mm -hmm. but we believe that God is going to sustain this platform so that the word of God will continue going out and yes. reaching the souls that really, really need to hear this gospel of truth. And so if you are there and you'd like to partner with us once again, you can do so through our pay bill number. That is 7653 hundred mm -hmm. seven six five three hundred and the account number you put your name we'll be praying together with you even as we continue right here seven six five three hundred put the account number as your name partner with us let's extend this kingdom let's extend our borders let's reach out to many other people with this gospel of truth so that many people will not give up on god because there is a message in this end time generation amen amen, amen. Sonia says, I can't give up on God and I won't give up on God because it's me who knows Mali Aminitoa. Mm. Oh, wow, that is wonderful. You know where God has taken you from. And the moment you remember that, that is actually a weapon against the devil. Mm. It is a weapon that I know where the Lord has brought me from. Therefore, I cannot give up on him. Mm. I cannot cast God. Ask a job. Everybody around you will be seeing something mm. else. But you focus on that which you have seen. I have tasted of the Lord. 
and I have seen that the Lord is good. Hi, I am Jackie from Kibra. Kindly, I need your prayers. We lost my niece on Friday. Just need you to stand with us in prayer for God to open doors as to give her a nice send off. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, first of all, we want to say condolences to you, Jackie. I pray for the peace of God upon you and your family. It is a sad time when you lose a loved one. But whatever the circumstances and situations we go through in life, he remains to be God. And I pray for the Prince of Peace to come into your family and fill every gap that has been left by your niece. That the Lord may wipe away your tears the Lord will give you strength through this morning season. Mm. That the Lord will strengthen you and renew your strength in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Father Lord, I thank you for this family. Thank you for Jackie who's lost their loved ones, oh God. Mm. I pray Jehovah King of all glory that you will give them strength, that you will give them peace, Lord King of praise. The Lord God Almighty, they will see you in a different way. Mm. The Lord God Almighty, we who are born again do not mourn like the people of the world mm. because for us to live is Christ and to die is gain. Mm. I pray Jehovah Father for your word to be made manifest in their lives mm. Father as they mourn their loved one may you be with them my Father may you strengthen them through this season in the name of Jesus Christ. Father see them through this period mm. and may you strengthen them in the name of Jesus. I thank you Jehovah God Almighty for from Mwangi from Pangani. Mm. Like God Almighty, thank you for, for his life. Mm. And I pray, my God, that you're opening doors for him to get a job. Mm. May you give him that job that he really desires tonight in the name of Jesus. I pray for favor with him and you and also with man and yes. employers. The Lord, as he applies for jobs, mm. may he have interviews, more interviews. Mm. The Lord God Almighty, he'll have more blessings and just have enough, more than enough to choose from because he will have so many. Father, may away for him and give him a testimony mm. and father god i pray for also jackie that i pray jehovah god that you will provide the finances for a befitting send off yes. may you provide the finances that are uh, needed at this particular point yes. may people bless them mm. may people bless them in oh god almighty in this time of need may people shower them my lord mm. and if there's anybody else out there who's lost their loved one mm. father lord i pray for your peace that surpasses all human understanding yes. May they see you in this season. Mm. In the name of Jesus Christ, I do pray and believe. Amen and amen. amen. Pearl Radio, the home of fresh and classic hits.